A military transport aircraft 2134 was destroyed at the Orenburg 2 military airfield in the Russian Federation. This was reported by the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine. On the night of October 12 to 13, 2024, a 2134 aircraft belonging to the 117th Military Transport Aviation Regiment of the Armed Forces of the Aggressor State burned down in Russia. The devastating fire broke out at the Russian military airfield Orenburg 2, where the 2134 was based, the GUR said in a statement. It is noted that such Soviet boards are used, in particular, to transport the leadership of the Russian Ministry of Defense. The Defense Intelligence of Ukraine reminded that every crime against the Ukrainian people will be duly punished. As reported, Ukrainian defense forces regularly strike Russian military facilities and destroy enemy forces. For many years the Tupolev Tu-134 was the standard short-haul jet airliner in the Soviet Union and Eastern Europe. According to a popular Telegram channel reported to be run by a former Russian military aviator, a Russian Aerospace Forces Sukhoi Su-34 fighter-bomber aircraft was shot down on Saturday over Ukraine. The fighter-bomber channel shared an apparent tribute to the downed Su-34 with a black and white photo of the multi-role aircraft and the caption, The Earth is the Sky, Brothers. Other pro-Moscow Telegram channels have provided additional details, claiming the aircraft was shot down approximately 50 kilometers from the front lines, and that it was a US-made F-16 fighting Falcon that downed the Russian fighter bomber. The F-16 has been a critical part of NATO's support to Ukraine, providing air defense capabilities against Russian drone and missile strikes. If confirmed, this would highlight the fighter's effectiveness against Russian aircraft, fulfilling its design mission of countering Soviet era planes. The Russian Ministry of Defense has made no official statement about the alleged loss of the Su-34 on Saturday, nor has Ukraine's Ministry of Defense commented. Earlier this year, NATO members Belgium, Denmark, the Netherlands, and Norway pledged to provide at least 90 of the aircraft after the White House signed off on the transfer of the US-made F-16s. The first fighting Falcons from Denmark arrived in early August. That same month, the F-16s were used to counter Russian drone and missile strikes on civilian population centers and critical infrastructure. While the aircraft have largely operated far from the front lines, a fighting Falcon was lost in late August, likely due to pilot error. The F-16, which originated under the lightweight fighter program for the United States Air Force, has been produced in 138 different configurations from the prototype to its latest production models. Successive changes have seen the addition of improved cockpit technologies, enhanced avionics, sensors, and weapons, while great effort has been made to ensure the fighter is more reliable and easier to maintain and control. The latest F-16s have an increased range and payload, advanced infrared sensors, and laser targeting devices, while it has improved survivability thanks to more advanced electronic warfare sensors and sophisticated decoys. It should also be noted that the F-16 was designed to counter Soviet aircraft, and if Saturday's incident is proven to be true it has lived up to the task. Two more Russian soldiers surrendered to the Ukrainian army. Relevant video footage has also been released. It is showed T in video the soldiers from the 79th Motorized Rifle Regiment of the Russian Federation, Mikhailov Alexei Valerievich and Maximov Ivan Sergeyevich. Former prisoners who signed the contract tell how Commander Colonel Efremov Maxim Nikolievich set up a conveyor belt for the disposal of prisoners that make up the regiment. After being wounded, they were not treated completely and were sent to storm again. They tell of cruel treatment in the 155th Separate Marine Brigade, people are shot, maimed, money is taken from their own. 
They call them, Zex, and drive them forward, hiding behind their backs. Instead of being killed by their own, these two made the only right decision. Having landed, they hid in the basement and voluntarily surrendered to the Ukrainians. Earlier, Russian soldiers complained that his commanders beat anybody they catch drinking alcohol, even though they regularly drink themselves. The UK Ministry of Defense said in April that Russian commanders were punishing soldiers for acts like drunkenness by putting them in rudimentary cells that were made from holes in the ground, covered with a metal grill. Ukraine has been sharing what it says is intercepted Russian audio since Russia launched its full-scale invasion of the country in February 2022. Those have included Russian soldiers seeming to describe how they had been sent to be killed, or were trying to get out of the war, along with extensive complaints about their commanders. Recall, Ukraine's military intelligence launched the I Want to Live project in 2022 to help Russian soldiers desert or defect to the Ukrainian side.